What you are about to view is a collection of scenes from the novel Ruin, written by Paula Morris. These videos were written and produced by Mrs. Guidry's English 3 AP students at Broadmoor High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Right after the parade, Rebecca Float takes the wrong turn. It starts heading for the cemetery. This confuses her and, st and she starts to panic. Strange figures appear in masks and robes, grabs her, right, rip her from the float, throw, throw her on the ground in front of the Bowman tomb. Let me go, please. I haven't done anything wrong. Shut up. I want it to be over now. No. Anton. Get back. Rebecca, I never meant to. Be quiet. Remember who you are. One girl will live, and the other would die, and the curse would die of her. No! No, I don't like this. We never intervened in fate before. The curse had to take its course. No, we have to save Helena. Do you hear me? Rebecca! Get her away. Get her away from here. What's wrong, Helena? Take my hand. Quick! She's here. For God's sake, shoot her. Shoot her now. Shoot, shoot! I can't, I can't see her. You can climb up. I got up right from where you're standing. On a count of three, pull me up as hard as you can. Okay, one, two, three. Ow! Uh, whoa! Helena! This is a scene from Ruin by Paula Morse by the students of Broadmoor High School from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Rebecca's mind started racing. She'd rather make herself scarce than face Marianne and her smug band of friends. They might say she followed them in. Helena's not here tonight. Suddenly, Rebecca wondered, why did a girl from a far-off neighborhood, who spent all her time apparently hiding out in the cemetery, know Helena of all people by name? Good. But we have to get out of here before the rest of them see us. The voices were getting closer, and Rebecca felt sick with anxiety, looking around for the best escape route. Strangely enough, Lizette didn't seem spooked at all. Didn't she always try to avoid them? Quick, they're coming. Lizette smiled, her teeth white as the moonlight. She reached out one hand to Rebecca. Keep still and say nothing. Lizette took Rebecca's hand. Her grasp was surprisingly cool for such a warm and sticky night. Believe me, they won't see you if you're with me. Rebecca opened her mouth to protest, but it was too late. Anton and the others were approaching, swarming up the steps and around the tomb like invading cockroaches. Nobody said a word to them. Rebecca's heart was hammering. She swung around to look at her new friend, and Lizette smiled, shaking her head, as if to remind Rebecca to keep quiet. But this was ridiculous. It couldn't be long before someone noticed them lurking in the shadows. These kids might be self-absorbed, and some of them might even be drunk, but they weren't that dense. Sooner or later, they'd be spotted. One of the boys staggered up to throw away his cigarette butt, leaning one hand against the tomb, just inches from her flinching face, and it was only then that Rebecca realized why Lizette was so certain they were safe, why nobody was going to find them. All of a sudden, it was obvious. Nobody could see her, and nobody could see Lizette. They were invisible, as invisible as ghosts. When this is Ruined by Paula Morris, a Broadmoor High production. Previously, with Lizette's help, Rebecca got away from the devil's hand. Helena Bowman, the seventh and the last girl of the Bowman family to die, was punished from the merciless curse. The curse is now lifted and Lizette is free. Anton and Rebecca escape from danger and end up in contact with Toby. We've got some unfinished business to take care of. Get out of here, Toby. It's all over now, okay? Helena's dead and there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing we could do? Your girlfriend here murdered Helena, and I lay my pants just to let her father walk away. Well, excuse me if I'm not in the mood to play happy families. Nothing's over until she pays. Nobody's paying for anything. Haven't we just had 150 years of people paying for something that shouldn't have happened? Isn't that why Helena died tonight? That's it. The curse is over. Helena's dead. death was a bizarre accident like all those bizarre accidents and illnesses that killed all those girls. It's not Rebecca's fault. There's no more unfinished business. Just get out of here and leave us alone. <sighs> I guess I have to do this alone then. He's got something in his hand. He's got something. She's a genius, your girlfriend. 
your father left this lying around, and I thought, you know, that could come useful. You're talking nonsense. Give it back and get out of here. I'm not in the mood for your stupid games. Whatever. All I know is a house has to burn tonight, and it's not going to be one of ours. No! He's going to! We can't let him! Ah... <sighs> I don't think it was such a good idea for you to bring me to this party. Why? I mean, I'm having a good time. I mean, me too, but I think it would have been way better if it was just me and you. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, it's so cold. I wish I would have brought a sweater. Yeah, maybe even a snowsuit, but I mean, I can warm you up. And Tom leans in closer. Or maybe a fur coat. Leans in closer. They're kissing sweetly. <gasps> What's wrong? Who was here? What did you see? I want to go home now. This is a scene from Ruin by Paula Morris by Bro Baton Rouge. Broadmoor High School students. Anton was waiting for Rebecca when she arrived. She told him that she had to stay late for school. She couldn't tell him that she'd spotted a ghost in a cemetery. Do you want to just walk? Sure. It's about three miles from the park, so I don't think we'll make it all the way. I can't stay out too. He didn't finish his sentence and Rebecca knew why. They weren't supposed to be together. Both of them were wearing disguises. Anton points to the beads hanging on an oak tree. Are you a member of the Septimus Parade? I'm not a member, but I usually ride on the floats. See this? Anton pulls out a silver cigarette lighter. It was a wedding gift from my great aunt to Helena's grandmother. It's a beautiful thing. I wish I had something from my family history to carry around. Really? You're lucky. I wanted to ask you. Would you mind going to the Christmas party with me? Uh-huh. A Christmas party? Sure, I'll go. I guess we should walk back. Rebecca nodded in agreement. She didn't want to make Aunt Claudia suspicious by arriving late for dinner. We are the students from Broadmoor High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we would like to introduce you to a scene from the novel Ruined by Paula Maud. Outside, Anton and Rebecca sat close together on a wooden porch swing that faced the ballroom. It's back to the broadside yard. Anton put off his jacket and draped it around Rebecca's bare shoulders and the slight rock from the porch swing tilted them together. You shouldn't have brought me. The champagne had gone to her head. She felt kind of dizzy. You're not having a good time. I'm having the best of time. That's a big lie. What I mean is, I'm having the best time right now. We should have came out here earlier. We should have just stayed out here the whole time, you mean? That's exactly what I mean. Their shoulders were brushing together. Rebecca felt Anton leaning closer. I should have worn a fur coat. Anton's face was brushing hers now, lip kissing hers, but someone was standing right there. The moment between them was broken. It was Lizette stepping up to the French door and gazing into the bar, busy room. Then there was a scream. It's her. I can see her. The black girl, she's here. I can see her. Out there, she's right there. Somebody do something. Grab her. There's nobody out there, he said, turning to Rebecca. Is there? Actors. Terry, Jamarcus, Cornisha, Taja, and Joshelle. 